Hey everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. I wanted to show you today how to make these really cute feathers that's on this card. I made this fun Thinking of You card. This is for my downline for the month of October. It's actually for their sales in September. So every month the top 10 in sales gets a fun card from me that I don't stamp on the back of and I just put a little um, post-it note on the inside so that they can reuse the card for themselves. So that's something I do for my team every month. So I'm going to show you how I made this card really quick. I just cut this piece, uh, this is baked brown sugar, and I cut it at um, four and a quarter by eleven. And then I have a piece of whisper white here and I cut it at five by three and seven eighths. And I'm just going to adhere it down. And then I have the top note die, which I've already cut out in Coastal Cabana, and I stamped it with the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set in Coastal Cabana, so it's monochromatic. And I'm just throwing that down in the middle there. And then I punched this from the 2 and 3 8 inch scalloped circle punch, and I'm just going to use a couple of dimensionals to throw this guy on in the middle. So he goes right there. And then I stamped the cute little Thinking of You birdie from the For the Birds stamp set, which is this one. And I really love this stamp set, and this is the first time I've used it, and I've had it for months. Isn't that sad? So I have a few stamp sets like that in my collection that I just had to have, and then I, I have taken a while getting around to using them. But I just loved this color combination, and really wanted to use that stamp set. All right, so let's get to the feathers. So what you're gonna need to do is punch out a circle. I've punched out here a two and a half inch circle and I'm gonna use the two and a half inch circle punch and turn it over and I'm just going to slip it in about halfway and punch again and that gives me that. And then if you turn it around, you can do it on the other side. So you can get two feathers out of one circle then all you have to do is fold the feather in half, or the shape in half, and you just come in with your paper snips, and you're just going to simply snip in and make fringe. Okay, so when you do that all the way down, you end up with this, which is really fun, and super simple to make, and then I just put some adhesive down. Put it there and then I also used our silver paper to make a silver feather. So I'm going to show you what happens when you cut all the way through. You get this little notch. So on a few of them I accidentally did that getting too quick and carried away. So I'm just going to layer that and then I took a large pearl. And this is another trick. I just lift the pearl up with the tip of my scissors and put it on just like that. And then um, on this one, as you can see, I color, I used the Stampin' Write markers and I colored in the image. So that is my fun um, downline card for the month. If you are interested in being on my downline team, we would love to have you. There is a special going on. You can become a member of my team for just $25 October 7th, which is today through October 21st. So we would love to have you join for just $25 bucks and become a member and you get lots and lots of fun benefits. Email me at wendy.cranford at live.com for more information. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.